days all along, some things will never change. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. What's up guys, and welcome to your seventh Java tutorial. In this episode, we're going to be going over the buffered reader aspect of getting user input. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need to create an input stream. So th that is just input stream reader, and I usually call mine iStream, and set that equal to new input stream reader with the uh, braces again, and again it's going to be system in. So you can see the similarities between the buffered reader aspect and the scanner, but buffered reader requires that we also have to read the input that we're getting. So we need to create a buffered reader, and I'm going to call mine BR for buffered reader, and set that equal to new buffered reader with the input stream that we'll be reading from. And after that, we'll need to import the iStreamReader class and the bufferedReader class. So we go to import java.io, input output, input stream reader, and import java.io dot buffered reader. And now we can prompt for information. So system dot out dot print line. And let's just go with hello, what's your name? And we'll create a string name and set it equal to br.readline. And this is going to throw a, an error because since we're using the input output class, it requires that we, ha we have to catch the error that might be thrown if something goes wrong. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up here to the public static void main and after your ending parenthesis and your opening brace we're going to type in throws exception and that's just telling the program that yeah we're aware that uh, an exception might be thrown and don't worry about it because we're going to work around that. So once we have that, we can then print out our input. And test if that works. And we should get, hello, what's your name? And we get our correct output. So let's go ahead and add on to this now. Let's make a age calculator by taking the birth year and the current year and subtracting them to get how old the person will be in this current year. So we'll do system.add.println and ask them what year they were born. And the problem with buffered reader is that it can only take in strings. So the year they were born is going to be a string. So I'll call that B year for birth year and set that equal to br.readline. And then we need to ask what the current year is. And string C year will be equal to the same thing. So how do we get B year and C year to be uh, integers instead of strings. Well, we'll create int birth year and we'll set that equal to a um, integer method called integer dot parse int from B year. And we will do the same thing for C year. We'll call it current year is equal to integer dot parse int or C year. So now we have the birth year and current year as actual years. So in order to get the age, we'll need to do int age is equal to current year 
miners for a few. So we will add on to what we print out. We'll change this would be like wow. And then the name. And we'll add on you will be age years old this year. And if we print we need to change that from capital to lowercase. And then if we print if we run this and we'll get hello, what's your name again? So we know that part works. Now let's take what year were you born? And what is the current year? And we'll get wow name you will be age years old this year. So that's how the buffered stream works. Thanks for watching guys.